Ladies and gentlemen, tonight, enthusiasm out of to be the here, blue but corner this season. That's a big age difference. He stands five feet nine inches tall. He weighs in at 153.8 pounds. Fighting out of Carbondale, Illinois, Ian Chappelle. His opponent tonight, fighting from across the ring out of the red corner this evening. He stands five feet, nine inches tall, weighs in at 151.4 pounds, fighting out of St. Louis, Missouri, Justin Hill. I will say this though, for 44, he could have fooled me. Yeah, he definitely does not look it. Does not look 44, looks fantastic. Looks in great shape. Justin Hill though, looks like he is in his prime. Very classic boxing style physique. Looks like he's gonna come out here and try to do what Southpaw punchers do and that's land that big damaging shot to end it. I love these fights, Ryan, because literally, Everything on an extreme card. We get all of the combat sports. We had the undercard of kickboxing, and now we kick off our main card with some boxing action. Immediately I, establishing the jab, here comes Ian Chapel. Nice jab. He said he was going to establish it. He's really trying to establish it. He was not lying, especially against a Southpaw opponent, taking the center of the ring. And I'm not going to lie, Jeremy. I'm being a little biased here. I love kickboxing. It's so damaging. But this pure boxing is just such a beautiful sport to me. The intricacies of just being able to throw your hands, everything lands, hurts, and the little subtle battles that go on in the inside, the footwork, like that, a short shot, and then answers the liver. Definitely they call it the sweet science for a reason. It is, it is. Both fighters, nice wide power stance, footwork engaged, short shot, looked like it wobbled him. Oh. What did I call it, that left hand as a traditional Southpaw boxer is your power weapon. Always, always looking for that counter punch. Once Chapel throws, Hill is looking to immediately capitalize on that position. Yes. Again, doing it to the body. Yes, a little slap to, the oh. slap to the body and then hard left up top. Those are hurting. One interesting note that I looked at, it says Justin Hill was 250 and 17 in AMI competitions. That is an amazing, amazing number. I mean, the sheer times that you would have to fight is incredible. It really is, it really is. You know, the most, I mean, an MMA guy, as yourself, I mean, you fight three to five times a year. Yeah. Can you imagine to, to amass a record of 250 and 17 as an amateur? That's insane. It's, it's really, hard for me to fathom too because I was able lucky enough was able to get a college scholarship off wrestling so I would have a hundred matches a year between the season and the off season those were matches Jeremy those weren't things where I was getting hit in the head <laughs> yes my you know my body was getting a little torn up my hips were getting worn out my lower back my neck wasn't boxing wasn't getting hit wasn't going every weekend to brawl with somebody right not knowing their style so that is a lot of tough tough experience he's bringing in Justin Hill thinking this fight might be over. Let's see what they say about it. Our referee here checking. I believe it was a it was a bit of an eye poke is kind of what it looked like. It was something that definitely affected the eye. Yeah, it definitely affected Chappelle's eye. It, it, let's see if he allows it to continue, if they're gonna call for further medical attention. Looks like the referee is calling the fight here. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee stops the about one minute and 25 seconds of the first round. Your winner by TKO, Justin Hill. Justin Hill adds another win to his professional column.